Hi, I'm Catherine, and I'm going to show you how high and low notes are made on woodwind instruments. Well, what are high and low notes? Well, if I talk like this, those are high notes or pitches. And if I talk like this, those are lower notes or pitches. And what are woodwinds? My Tiny Tots shirt says woodwinds because that's what I play. Woodwinds are a group, kind of like a family of instruments that are made out of wood or used to be made out of wood or could be made out of wood. And we blow into them like the wind blows. They're also basically tubes or pipes. Now, the bigger the instrument, the lower the notes. The smaller the instrument, or shorter the instrument, the higher the notes in general. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you. I'm going to put an English horn reed on this juice box straw. Now listen to what happens. Let me try that again. Mm. Got to get a good tone. The pitch got higher as the straw got shorter. So woodwinds come in different sizes. I brought my smallest instrument, the piccolo. This is made out of wood. So I'll blow into it and I can get a really high note. And then I brought my largest instrument. This is the English horn. It's not the biggest or lowest of the woodwind instruments, but it's the biggest one I have. Well, that's great, but that isn't really enough to make a lot of notes. I mean, I can't just keep switching between instruments every time I want to play a different note. So, somebody long, long ago, actually probably a lot of different people all over the world, came up with the idea of finger holes. This instrument is a recorder. It's a woodwind instrument, even though this one's made out of plastic. And it's got holes in it on the side. So if I cover all these holes with my fingers, the sound and the air will come from here down out the bottom. And I'll get the lowest note on the recorder. But if I uncover the holes, each hole I uncover makes the air and the sound come out of that highest hole. So if I have this one uncovered, it's like the recorder's only this long. And then I cover more and it makes the recorder seem longer. Well, that's basically how it all works. Now the piccolo and the English horn that I showed you, they have metal keys covering the holes. We put our fingers on those and that makes it easier to play. And also it sounds a little bit better. So if this English horn didn't have all these holes up and down the instrument, I wouldn't be able to play something like this. Well, thanks a lot for listening, and I think I will end this video on a high note. Bye-bye.